Okay, so uh, now we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna learn how to how to divide the code that we have um, that we have converted so far into small components that we can reuse later when we are building our uh, AI and those in quotation marks. So it's like it's not really an AI that we're gonna build here. It's just for well, something like it. Anyway, let's first see what we have so far, what we've got. So we have a tank that aims with a mouse, which is good. It can shoot. And the cell that shoots uh, collide with things and then create an explosion. And it moves, it moves with, with certain inertia, which is for one, but it doesn't collide, that's alright. So yeah, we got something that is um, sort of working. Very good. It's kind of weird that the uh, tank moves faster than the, uh, than the bullets, but that's alright. So, so far we have a bullet controller that takes care of a bullet, you know, updating it because it's got, it's got like um, gravity being affected and we're not using a, a read body, at least not uh, the gravity of the read body, and instead we are simulating it ourselves and, uh, and you know, create an explosion, checking when it's, it's fire or something, etc. And the tank controller, which is taking care of everything else. It's taking care of uh, moving the tank, it's taking care of shooting. Um, well, that's the only two things that we have now. Oh, uh, well, we can, uh, yeah, that's what we use for uh, aiming. Yeah, so we have the, uh, the tank controller is taking care of the aiming too. So, we're going to divide this in three. Um, in two different in two different components there. Yeah. So first we're gonna do a tank movement controller, which is basically gonna take care of the movement. And um based on some inputs. And um, and we are also gonna have a um tank shoot controller, tank shooting controller, which is gonna take care of the um, of the shooting part and the aiming part. And also it's gonna take uh, some inputs. And this uh tank controller here is gonna still uh, exist. But it's only going to be uh, making use of those two new components, so it doesn't the right, um, the right inputs. Um, so we're going to use this tank controller, and then later we'll do a tank AI controller, which is the one that is going to be uh, substituting those inputs for um, for AI commands. So the AI is going to be using the same uh, input method as the uh, as the um, as the user does. Okay, so let's get on with it. First, we're gonna do the um, the movement controller. So we create a new C script and movement controller. Okay, we have that uh, movement controller. Let's create. Let's see. Oh, don't. Uh, well, I don't like it like this. I like them uh, with um, regions already, but well, we'll we'll deal with it. Okay, so we're gonna need um, some public attributes that we're gonna use to uh, define the max, the max speed, the acceleration to drop the tank. This well, let's describe some of this component. I'm going to take care of the movement of a tank. It receives some inputs. And um, produces and um, later produces um, this movement of the time. So, what is it that we need? We need um, the maximum speed, the acceleration speed, and the rotation speed. Yep. Maximum speed is the, is the maximum speed the tank uh, can take. Uh, the acceleration rate, we can call it acceleration. I don't like it, acceleration. It's going to be just the acceleration of the tank and the rotation speed is just uh, the speed of rotation degrees, by the way. Then we're going to have some private attributes. 
way to keep track of what's our current speed uh, so we can have a, um, a uh, custom accelerate, acceleration and deceleration and we, um, yeah, we have this uh, inertia that, uh, that uh, you have seen that looks quite nice it doesn't fit the sound but anyway it looks funny and it's funny tag isn't it so uh, yeah we can read this Express as a vector three because we are we are gonna be um keeping an inertia in three D actually in two D because we are only moving in the X D plane but anyway. And we're also gonna store the inputs. So this inputs are gonna be the movement and by four it's gonna be a zero point zero. Yeah. Well this is also gonna be um, by default, a uh, vector three has got this value zero zero zero. But I like to explicitly set it so that you so you can see that it's obviously going to be initialized to the right value, which is zero. Because when you when you start, your velocity is going to be zero, right? You're you're not moving anyway. Okay, so we need so we have some private value for the inputs, which is you know good because we don't want it to be exposed as a public attribute. Oh, we need to be able to change it because otherwise we are not going to be able to, you know, move the tank. Every tick, if we, if we cannot, if we cannot change the value, then um, from the outside, then how is it, uh, how is it going to change? And we want to do it independently of uh, whether it is the user who controls the tank or the AI. So to do that, we're going to create a property that allows uh, us to access this publicly. So basically, with while this is accelerated, this part is not. That's all right. 
So now we have this function, and we want to be doing is just uh, call the date. Yeah, call the new date. That's it. That's all we need. Right. So um, now the tank is not going to be able to move. Um, yeah, you know, now it's not moving, right? So this part of the tank is going to be the same, but we're going to be needing something else. We're going to be needing a um, the component that we just created tank movement controller so yeah and the star we're gonna get that component so that we um, have movement controller from the start and um and then we can use it in the update. The one that takes care of I don't know if more yeah. the one that takes care of updating the movement of the tank. So let's see if, um, if this if this is working. And this is compiling. So we go to Unity. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll fix that uh, later. So. We're gonna open the tank prefab. I know the prefab didn't have before, but we're gonna add the tank, con the, the tank movement controller, and the tank controller. So, uh, the bullet is gonna be this. The muscle is gonna be this. The turret is gonna be this. And the camera is something that we have to set in the game. And the movement controller is this one, okay? So right, save the, the prefab, go back to the scene. In the scene previously we had the time controller set. Uh, um, we we had the, the time controller set here. Boom, boom, boom. Which uh, yeah is five point three thirty, and then camera, yeah, camera. So we have to remove, which was the old uh, time controller that we had in the scene instead of in the prefab, and I want it to be in the prefab because, you know, this tank is going to be the, the player tank. Actually, I don't like the name tank. I think it should be more like player tank. Yeah, this is going to be the player tank. And well, let's see if it works. So now, yeah, it works, so it's very slow. Yeah, I forgot to change the uh, horizontal speed is to 180. Ooh, no, not that. No, this is going to be 180. Actually, let's change it here. 180. Um, yes, we'll take a bit. I mean, it makes no sense to have a um, a tank moving controller with a position field of 10. So this would be expressing. So expressing degrees per second because you know 10 degrees per second is very slow. So we change it for 180. Uh, yeah, leave it here so that next time we add it to uh, to another prefab or to another object, it will have a reasonable or sensible rotation speed by default. So you know we don't have that problem of having the tank and moving it very slow. I mean it's moving very slow. Come on here. Uh, let's see. Very slow. Okay, let's make it a bit faster. Like five. Yeah, 
Yeah, it could be a, it could still be faster. I think we had it faster. I don't know. Set it to ten. Yeah, no, it looks like he's skating on ice, and it's. I mean, this is not realistic. It doesn't pretend to be realistic. It's it's cool. It's nice looking, and it's it's got a nice feel to it. So yeah, cool. Right, so we save the scene. We're gonna leave actually those values also by the wall here. So as I said before, next time we add this to a um to a to another object, it's called the right values. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish here for this video and the next one we're gonna separate an uh, another component which is the uh, shooting component which got both the aiming and the shooting in the tank. So we're gonna have a um, a a new component. So we're gonna have three components for the tank: the tank controller, the tank moving controller, and the tank shooting controller. And so that later on we can reuse those uh, the, the two lower um, components, the uh, movement and the shooting, for the AI. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.